Hey, what's up? <coughs> nice little cough to get us started. Let's get into it. Alright, so what should I do? Guess we'll go do blood ties. grenade at me. Jesus, there's so many of them. Shish kebab. Oh, he didn't need a 
disclaimer. All right, please, please tell me y'all got a bed down here. Nope, just more shacks. Great. <clears throat> Great, just great. It's a robo brain. So shoot another gun so I don't shoot off all my AR bullets. Oh lord. Vault 106. This is not Agatha's Vault, is it? No. Well, we'll come back later. I'm so sorry, but I cannot help you. Where the fuck are you? Yeah, get him. Dude. Oh my god. Who's shooting me now? Jesus Christ. Alright, what the fuck? How do you even get up there? Oh my god, this is so stupid. Oh my god, fuck off. Oh. Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you doing? Thank God. Water. I'm out. You got to give me some water or I'm done for. I know you're probably just yanking my chain, but it's... They're still shooting at me. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, oh my god, where are the, where the fuck are you at? You're dead. You're so dead. Dumbass. Oh, holy fuck, dude. I don't want- I don't- I'm not- I don't want to do this! Fuck off! Oh, 
What is this area? It's not Andale. Oh, it's just a random destroyed neighborhood. Okay. Wait, maybe this is where I have to drop off the package? Is that a diner, right? Cherry Street Metro Station? Um, okay, maybe not. Let me see what he said. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package. And get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. Wait. I stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Gertershade is where the Nuka Cola lady lives. And that guy, Ronald Lauren, he has a crush on her. That's why. Must be why he wants the naughty nightwear. So you can seduce her. Christ, where is this place? Holy fuck. I've been walking for years. Here we are, our food. Got some dead ramen. That's nice. Oh! Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Damn right you did. Get over here before they spot you. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Well, I have this letter for the West family. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. What kind of trouble? Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. What's got you so spooked? Ah, look, you can call me crazy if you want, but there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. I'll be glad to help. What do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. Um, all right. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Huh? What are you talking about? Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan. He's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. 
Let me unlock the door for you. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out! Your wife let me in. Something about a catalog? Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. So what's your take on Evan King? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Good. Now get out. Don't you have some houses to be checking? Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Where do you think I can find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. All right. Oh, Lord. Bodies of the Wests have bite marks on the neck area that go to the bone. There's nothing else on the corpse to indicate what happened. There's someone else I'm supposed to talk to, right? Oh, they're there in here. Yes. Who is it? Evan King sent me. Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Did you know the Wests are dead? What? Oh my god! King has to do something about this now. Tell him to get off his ass and hunt those bastards down! Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Scared out of my mind! I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. So what's your take on Evan King? He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? We're scared shitless! Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. What do you think about the family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. I have to go now. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. Bruh. Uh, what? You want me to just stay here with you? Fuck. What's the big idea? What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Did you know the Wests are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. 
Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? Uh, nope, and it's unlikely they left him alive. Well, hold on, wait, what? No, I only found the parents' bodies. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weird old leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Don't worry, Evan. I'll figure out what happened to the Wests. Thanks, kid. You're all right. I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian. Uh, the Wests had bite marks on their necks. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. So they're in the they're in the Northwest Cynic Station, but I'm gonna go to Hamilton's Hideaway because I want to explore it.
time to tear you apart. Kick it out! Oh. No! Fuck! What the fuck, man?
you're not... not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Steal your secrets? Not at all. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. Ultra Jet? That's some sort of super chem? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Yeah, sure. What do you need? It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. I distill it down to its base contents and add that to the formula, then presto, Ultra Jet. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Make it 30 caps each and you got yourself a deal. Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram, I got some preparing to do. So, what did you bring? Nice work. So, what did you... Good. So, what did you... Uh, have you ever heard of the family? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. What's the deal with Barrett? He's Wherever my assistant is. and my backup, in case things get rough. I wouldn't mess with him if I were you. Yep. Do what you gotta do. He didn't pay me. For the sugar pumps. Oh, there we go. Jesus. I'm hurting. I'm hurting bad. Ah, you're back. You're looking for a problem. Ah! Oh shit. God damn. Slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm, I really need to get by you. It's important I find what I'm looking for. I don't care what you need. This place is off limits and that's that. I'm wondering what I could do with all these spare caps I have. Sounds like an interesting problem. Let me take a hundred of those off your hands. You know, 
Lighten the load. Bruh. Then quit wait. Yeah? What do you want this time? Hello, my beautiful America. Hang on a second. I have a letter for Ian West from his sister. Oh, the new kid? Yeah, Vance said we should be expecting someone soon. You can head on in, but I would speak to Vance first if I was you. You can find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Tell me about the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. What is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Just... Isn't the right... Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? This place is very different from any of the other settlements I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. Allow Vance to get it. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. I am afraid that the knowledge right. required to appreciate our true nature is far. Whoops. Far above your level of comprehension. Your ways? So you're reforming these people? Ah, your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. If I accept that you're no longer cannibals, what do I call you? Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? I have no idea. Then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. What is this place? This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. Tell me about the family. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. They come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. Please help me understand your laws. Each of us is required to speak one of the laws when we hold our ceremonies. I say the first law. Feast not on the flesh, consume only the blood. This is our strength. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. Maybe he will, or maybe it's just messing him up more. You don't think he's already messed up? Come on, don't kid yourself. We pulled him out of that shithole town just in time. Anything else you can tell me about Ian West? Like I said, he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. It was... Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I... 
take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. Tell me about the family. How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? As long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Lady killer. Tell me how to see Ian and maybe we can talk in private. My oh my. That would be tempting. If you were that good, maybe I'd pay you. <laughs> Tell you what, handsome. Let me give you the password to Ian's room. Maybe you could talk to him and make him feel better. Please help me understand your loss. When we all gather in the common area, Vance gives his speeches, and then we each have, like, a law to say. Mine is, Bear not the child, welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Kinda cool, huh? Bye, sweetie. Well, well. I haven't had a customer in a while. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? Tell me about the family. We're the last people you want to mess with. That's for damn sure. Can I see what you have for sale? If your caps are good, you can buy whatever you like. Beats standing there drooling all over the merchandise. Thanks. Please, help me understand your laws. When Vance stands on that balcony and starts mouthing off like some kind of preacher, it makes me want to puke. But if I want to keep this place stocked, I gotta have his permission. So I learned his fifth law. Kill not our kindred. Slay only the enemy. This is our justice. Pretty silly if you ask me. Say it ain't so. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Tell me about the family. It's a great way to get back at those assholes out there who think we're losers. If it wasn't for Vance, I'd still be getting the crap beat out of me by those guards in Rivet City. Uh, please help me understand your laws. Well, Vance makes each of us remember a rule. And when we all gather in the common area, we have to say it out loud. Kind of weird. So, my law is the fourth one. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge. You wish to speak to me? I think I finally understand what you people are. Indeed. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? You're vampires. Or at least you follow their fictional traditions. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now. 
Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. You do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings? Now you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a letter for him from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Arafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Wait a minute, what happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Are you telling me that Ian is a cannibal? I am telling you. He will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. This letter is all Ian has left of his old life. Allow me to give it to him. Your words impress me, human. Perhaps I misjudged you when we first met. If you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. Huh? What do you want? I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. He already knows that. I'm here to take you home, Ian. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I made sure of that, didn't I? I know what you did. Red stole me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Look, Ian, I know loss too, I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? Read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. I bet it will change your mind. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me in here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. If it wasn't for you, they'd be living in the waste. Or dead. You always have had a knack for making me feel better. It's the least I can do, Vance. You give so much and rarely receive. I'm glad I'm here to help. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Before I talk about Ian, there's still the matter of Artifu to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Vampires can drink any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. In light of your candor, all I can promise is that Arafu will no longer be a target of the family. Um, vampires can drink any kind of blood, e even from blood packs. Curious. Many years ago, 
I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs were scarce. What do you propose? Arthur donates blood packs, and in exchange, you protect them. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Ian's decided to leave the family. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Hello again. Had everything they wanted. Power, wealth. to mess with me don't even think about it that enclave tech is mine fair and square you have anything for sale everything has its price take a look and make me an offer got any more anything The hero of the day. It's done, Evan. The family will never bother Arfu again. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. I have a proposal for you from Vance, the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Come on. Alright, am I supposed to go back and talk to Vance now? He said to come back. Um. With, uh. His decision. Back off! Fight. Damn. Is this a waste of time? Going back. Is this a complete total waste of time? Guess we'll find out. said my man. 
Where's he at? Look what the cat did. I never talked to him. Always a pleasure to receive. Arfu has accepted your proposal, Vance. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. Can you teach me the ways of the vampire? To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood. Allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. Hematophage perk added. Vance's teachings have granted you the ability to regain 20 HP from the consumption of blood packs. You I brought some blood packs to contribute. I can only offer my thanks. My people are getting accustomed to using these as a substitute for live prey. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. I'm gonna take a break real quick. I'm I'm gonna pause recording. So oh, I'll come back and play more on this video, but I'm just gonna take a quick break and eat.